Hello and welcome to the tutorial video on how to use Turnitin. Now Turnitin is a software that will scan students' works that are dropped into Dropbox to check for plagiarism. And it's actually got a lot of other cool features as well, but I'm gonna show you how it's gonna check for originality in this video. And it's very easy and very simple to use. Now it's been added to Fairview's Manage Back system. So it's very, very easy. Uh, when you log into ManageBack, you'll be on your dashboard, but you can go to your class. So let's say we got here language A, and you have a deadline. So to create a new deadline for this, you just have to go to the calendar. And once you're at the calendar, you can create a new deadline, right? So uh, right here, you can add a new deadline. So once you click that, creating a new deadline and enabling Turnitin is very simple. It's just as before. You'll want to enable Dropbox because that's how that's what you're gonna be checking. But over here, there's a new button, enable Turnitin. And you want to make sure this is checked because this will then enable Turnitin for this deadline. Now you can ignore this link. This just goes right back to their website. And everything else is the same and you can add a new deadline. But as you can see on the calendar, we currently have a deadline and this has uh, Turnitin enabled. So there's only one testing here, and you can see here Turnitin similar Similarity Index. Basically, once uh, works have been submitted to the Dropbox, this will not automatically be here. Once uh, everything's submitted, you have to click here, Submit Coursework to Turnitin. And when you click that, you can see, are you sure? And press OK. And then it's gonna be loading, and you can see that your coursework is now being submitted to turn it in. This process may take some time as files are being transferred. So this will not live update. You have to wait a while and wait a while, but after a while you can refresh the page. So you can press F5 or just refresh the page or just come back later. And it should show percentages on this table right here. Now, when you see 1%, 1% is not very high, but if it says something like 15% or 20%, that's a bit suspicious. So you can actually just click on View Turnitin Originality Report. So when you click that, it'll bring you to the Turnitin software within your browser. Now this can take a while to load depending on your internet speed, but here we go. Uh, this getting started guide will pop up and uh, you can read it for some reference or you can click here, don't show this message again if you don't wanna see this pop up again. And then you can click close to close that. Now this might look a little bit daunting. And as you can see, it's a 0% similar. It's because I came here before and I did a few things, but let me just show you what I mean. Um, basically there's all of these weird features and cool features, like you can leave comments and stuff, but we're not using that right now. We want to focus on originality up here in the top left corner. So you just want to click on originality and it'll bring you to the originality page. Now let me just reset something I did before. Let me restore all. Ignore that for now. And you can see there's 1% match. Now this 1% match will actually correlate to something. As you can see, it's highlighted. Friendship isn't a big thing, it's a million little things. Now this is obviously a quote from someone and that's why it's a match. And whether you consider this plagiarism or not depends on the nature of the submission, whether they need to be properly referenced and sourced. But on here, on this right bar now, you can click on the match and it'll bring you to it. So if there's a lot, you can just click on them and it'll bring, it to, bring you to it. On the, here you can click it and it'll load up where it's finding the source. As you can see, this quote is also used here on heathermillsmccartney.com, an internet source, which you can actually full source view and stuff. But on the right side here, you can see there's, when you mouse over the match, there's a little arrow. If you click that arrow, it will bring up the full match breakdown. And you can see all the different websites where this has actually hit a match. And you can actually just, let's say, uh, this one, submitted to Florida, Virtue something. Uh, here, submitted to Mead High. You can click this and it will actually bring you to the web page to see where it's from. Now, for let's say for this article, this is not a real match. Like, you don't really consider this plagiarism because maybe it's source, maybe it's referenced properly. So you can exclude sources by just clicking here. So you just wanna exclude the source and then you can check all the ones you consider is not actually a proper match. Now this one, you do have to click on one at a time, even though there's a lot for the same match. It's just that quotes are often matched on a lot of websites because they're quotes. And then once you clicked all of them, you can click exclude. 
and it will recalculate the originality score at the top. And you can see now it's 0% similar. So none of this is now plagiarized because I manually omitted that from the search. Now, if you made a mistake and you accidentally omitted something that you didn't want to, in the bottom right, you can see these extra buttons. And you want to click on this circle with a cross through it. And you can view ed or edit excluded sources. Now, these are all the sources that have been excluded. And you can just click on the ones you want to restore them or you can restore all of them and it'll send it back to 1%. Now, changing this here does not really reflect on ManageBack. So if you bring this down to 0% on ManageBack itself, it will not say 0% there. But if you return to this like I did, you, when we came back here, it said 0%, when on ManageBack it said 1%. So it will save the it will save the percentage here when you change it. So it's useful for your personal reference. Just keep in mind it doesn't reflect on ManageBack itself. And that's it. You can check uh, if your students are plagiarizing, if they're copying from Wikipedia or some other sources. And you don't have to manually read through and compare their writing with sources that you're familiar with or search for your own references or just basically check it yourself. Turnitin makes it a lot, lot simpler and will hopefully and probably save you a lot of time. All right, that's the basics of using Turnitin. Thank you so much for watching and have fun.